Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, we got gravity. Are we defying gravity? No, it's just some rackets. Stay tuned. All right, coffee sponsor of today is Roland Go. Oh, do we have a special guest? Audrey, oh, hey guys. how doing? are you? Good, how are you doing? Good. What is going on um, in our beautiful center here? Um, okay, coming up in April, we have the Easter Bunny um, coming up on air on April 8th. We're going to have free photos with the Easter Bunny in front of Molly Stone's Market. That's Saturday, April 8th, day before Easter, 11 to 2 p.m. in front of Molly Stone's. Got so it. So come on down. That'll be fun. So that's in the spring. So lots going on all spring and summer here at Bon Air. So wow, probably more than like, you wanted to know. That's but a lot anyway, going I know, on. I know, that's so. good. We keep ourselves busy here. Yes. The center, we keep it busy. Is I mean, the cars are already full here. I know, isn't it? All right. Well, it is going to stop raining, right? So we can yeah. all play tennis again soon. Please. I know, right? Hopefully tomorrow. Yes. Okay. Uh, well, here's thank you mic. for the update. Yeah, here's your mic. I appreciate it. Your chat. Bye. So Bon Air Center in Green Bray, guys, if you're in the neighborhood, check out the schedule online and uh, see what's going on. All right. Thank you, Audrey. Okay, see you guys. Bye. All, right. All right. So that's Audrey, our marketing director of the Bon Air Shopping Center over here. Every first Tuesday of the month, we do a marketing meeting. So she came by just to give us a reminder. All right. So maybe one of us will will make it to that meeting today. Okay, but there's a lot going on here all the time. She does a great job of keeping the center busy and keeping the activities going for the people in the neighborhood. All right, so back to the question, guys. Uh, Roland Go uh, asking me about Stefan Edberg's racket. So here's the interesting thing, guys. Um, he supposedly used that 85 square inch racket. And then he used supposedly 6195 classic. At least that's what it looked like in his hand. But here's the interesting thing. I think they specially made a racket for him because I got my hands on this racket from a touring pro back in 1990, I think it was one or two, this guy walked in with a racket and said, I don't use this anymore. I used to be a touring professional. Can I trade you? So he brings me a, what looks like a 6195, but it was in an 85 square inch head. It was a thicker beam and it weighed about 12 ounces um, before strings. And I'm like, I looked at thing, my eyes lit up. And I was like, and I calmly said, sure, I'll do you a favor. I'll trade you for what you want. Oh, we got Coach Stevie in the house. This is how the magic happens right here. Hey, buddy. All right, so we got Ryder. Your son needing an emergency string job. Yes, so does. we're going to knock this out uh, and get it back to him. We're going to play in the rain? Thank you. Tomorrow. Oh, and tomorrow. tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow okay. they play. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, but he needs it tonight because tomorrow they play SMU. Where? At Cal. And they somehow got the match in yesterday against how? Columbia. How? I don't know how. <laughs> it's like in between storms. This rain has been brutal. Brutal. This <laughs> is North Cal rain back to old school. I don't know. 10 years ago and it used to rain for the whole month. Somebody asked me, like some older guy actually asked me, he's like, I can't remember when it rained like this. And I basically said, 1983. Yeah. And they looked in the air and said, how do you know that? He's like, cause I was in middle school and I was looking out the window in seventh period and freaking three months, I could see the thing just, soaking, rolling waves onto the yard where I couldn't go outside and play. Yep. <laughs> and when I ran for the bus, I got soaked every day. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so 1983 was the last time. Yeah, it was probably around that. We had one in 1990. 
eight, I think, that was super rainy, too. I remember I got my job at Tiburon, and I was there the first year, and it literally rained for, like, six weeks in a row. Oh. No. And I was like, wait a minute. This isn't how <sighs> I started this job. <laughs> not, not good. Funny. All right, so I'll get this Thanks. done. Um, I'll bring it over. You going to still be there? Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll be over there. Okay. okay. All right, awesome. cool. Thanks, Thanks Coach. Okay, no problem. All right. All right, so, yeah, it's been sucking. This rain is not good here. Uh, okay, so back to Edberg. Back to Edberg. Um, so it was a 90s, 85 square inch head on a thick beam. So imagine a classic, which is a little thicker than the 85 in an 85 thing. So I basically said, yeah, I'll do you a favor. I'll, let me know what you want. I, f he, I forgot what he picked, but I re knew I had that racket. <laughs> so I actually took that racket and I played with it and I'm like, man, this is sweet. Right. I, I eventually sold it to somebody who really, really wanted it. But um, yeah, I've never seen that racket ever again. But it was an 85 square inch racket looked just like a classic 6.1. So I don't know the numbers of it, but my guess is that it had to have been like a 68 RA on an 85. Uh, beam was probably 22 though. Uh, leather grip in all probably 12 ounces before strings. Okay, so hopefully I answered that question for you. All right, if you want to be my coffee sponsor of the day, Network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. If you want to support the channel, super thanks is the way. Link is below. You can contribute as much or as little as you like. All right. Cheers to you guys. Thank you so, so much. Looks like we had a lot of guests today. Uh, Elliot walked in with his jumpsuit. Looks like Caltrain missed that one, though. Elliot, the UPS driver. All right, so let's talk about gravity. Um, so I wanted to talk about gravity in this episode before we go play with it because I wanted to show you what they kind of did. And I wanted to make sure that they didn't um, flip-flop any weights, change the names like they did with the prestige models uh, there is only three models for the u.s there is actually six models made i'm going to show you this back placard here so in the gravity line there's a pro a tour an mp mp light a team and a team light so six models total only three for the u.s I guess that's about right, because you get too many rackets out there, you kind of confuse the American people. Yeah. Anyways, you confuse me. Um, so let's start with the Pro. Okay. But let's start with the colors, actually. When I was looking at this racket in the catalog, this actually looked gray. But I'm going to show you like how I'm going to flip it like that. What's it look like, guys? I wonder if you could see that. It looks purple, doesn't it? And then when I flip it this way, it probably looks a little more blue. So for those of you who can't see, it's blue, like just like this paper, and this purple. When you take a snapshot of it in a picture, it actually looks gray. I don't really understand what's the deal with the purple. I kind of understand the blue. And then you do it this way too. The, the colors are here. All right, let's start with the Pro. Did they change anything? 315 on a 11-1. They didn't change anything. It's a 100 head shape. Here's the other interesting thing though. Gravity, massive sweet spot. Okay, that's interesting to me that they emphasize that in this racket. I don't think they did that in the previous versions. 
Um, I guess it could be massive sweet spot because they they brought these further out wider, but that was the case in the older version too. So whatever. So this is the player stick at 11.1, okay? 315 uh, grams before strings. That's the heaviest one that we get. The next heaviest one is the MP. Same thing, 100 square inch head. And that's 10.4 on 295. Okay, and then the last one that we get, I guess it's for the juniors or the ladies looking for a player stick, is the team. Okay, and that's 285 on an 11 one. All right, so this team version remains at 104. Okay, so this kind of rivals like a Blade 104 or anything that's slightly on the bigger side. Okay, it's meant for, I guess, the junior or the lady that uh, needs a slightly bigger head, but more control on the frame. Now, I like this one, and I can see why um, we in the U.S. would like this. So the player, the college player who wants control, usually wants a little more weight. So that makes sense. The MP at 10.4, 295. This one's a little iffy. Um, if we're trying to go for that weekend warrior, the casual player, uh, that's not going to work probably because there's not enough power in this racket and the lightness of it, eh, I'd probably like to see that a little heavier. Maybe 10.6, 10, 10.7. 10, uh, this one I do understand. Uh, it's for that junior or that lady with the bigger, wants a bigger head, um, lighter frame. So I think this could be ramped up to 10.6 in my opinion. But what do I know? I just play test these things. Um, so the major change besides the, uh, the pearlish color uh, changing in angles like everybody's doing. I don't know what, what's going on with the people with the, the colors these days. They want the reflective paint to make it look like different colors. I don't understand that. Just make it look like a racket. Um, is they've added aesthetic to this frame. As I was telling you in, in videos before, they're gonna add aesthetic to the every line until they finish, and then they'll bring out a different technology and a different name and start changing that one. So until aesthetic hits every racket, they will not come out with a new version with a new technology, okay? So this is your first look at the new head gravity series that's meant for the United States. Okay, we got pro, MP, and team. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Coach Rob, it's a little cold. I'm freezing, Harry. Keep moving your feet. <laughs> and it's dark. Ooh, I can't then, barely see. Then you better not miss, Harry, because then you're going to get colder. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh. Ooh, gosh. All right. Do you want that, pro? That will make you play in the dark, make you play in the freezing cold, not let you give up on your tennis. Well, I got my coach, Rob. You can get your coach, Rob, at Play Your Court. You can find over 27,000 players out there, coaches and playing partners, all at playyourcourt.com.